Now, mankind has been cutting wood for thousands of years. We've got advanced tools like saws to help us do it. So you might think no one could come up with a new way of making the task easier. Well, think again. Cumbrian-based duo Richard Boness and Steve Tonkin believe they've done exactly that. Hello, Dragons. I'm Richard Bonus. I'm the inventor and shareholder of the mul Truncator Multicut Saw Horse. We've come here to ask for £125,000 for 30% of our company. Hello, Dragons. My name's Steve Tonkin. I'm project manager here at Truncator, and I'd like to introduce you to our saw horse. The Truncator Saw Horse is a revolutionary new chainsaw saw horse that makes the process of cutting logs easier faster and much, much safer. Our, our sawhorse is a unique sawhorse. It's the only sawhorse where you multiple cut logs, the logs are held by the cup system and you simply stack from the cups, or in fact even better, tip the cup system into a container to create your log pile. And we're here today to hope that uh, with your investment and help, we can take our brand and our invention from Cumbria to the UK and to the rest of Europe. Uh, I have some ear defenders for you now to put on while Richard um, gives a demonstration of the, uh, of the device. A somewhat nervous pitch from Richard Bones and Steve Tonkin from Cumbria. They're looking for investment for their souped-up version of a sawhorse, a device used to secure wood while it's being cut. Before the questioning can commence, it's time to see the product in action. One barrel full of logs, 30 seconds. Hi, I'm Deborah. Um, so, what are people currently using to chop logs? All saw horses on the market at the moment drop the logs onto the ground, which creates trip hazards. More importantly, most people are cutting one and two pieces of wood at a time. This, you can fill that, and you are multiple cutting. So you are getting at least 100 to 200 percent increase in productivity. Bold claims from the entrepreneurs, but can they back them up under questioning from Peter Jones? How many people could go out in their back garden, cut down some trees, put them onto the truncator, then cut their logs? then take them back into their house. What's the reality of that? Is that one in 50,000, one in a million? Um, uh, at least one in, well, I would have thought there'd be a lot more than that. One in what? Well, What's the, what, what I'm well, saying is... Either, how, because you, of the market is so big, we can't actually ascertain where it is. I don't think the market is big. I would accept your view, but you're completely wrong. But that doesn't help. No, I accept that it's a thing that isn't within your gambit. Therefore, you haven't got the knowledge <coughs> to actually ascertain. The no, no, no. But you've uses. supposed to got the knowledge, and you've come in here with a with a table that I could get from anywhere, with a truncator mm. just put on the front as a brand, and you're then telling me that I'm wrong. Mm. Well, give me some facts. We're looking for sales of 1,300 of these units in the first year and that should produce 65,000. Gross profit. Gross profit. We're then going to uh, 3,500, and that goes to the 130. What's, what, what's your net profit going to be in those two years? What do you remember? <laughs> uh, uh, Sorry, the figures have gone out of our heads. Um, How can we put this? This um, is quite good. Well, um, what do you say? <laughs> what do you say, Richard? I've. This is quite good. Is that your humour? It is actually because okay. we're making a complete mess of the figures. 
by arguing back and getting the numbers wrong, Richard has ruffled the feathers of the dragons. Is easing the den's uncomfortable atmosphere on Kelly Hoppen's agenda. Can I just say that, you know, everyone that comes in here with an invention, I take my hat off to you. I love the way it chops up the logs neatly, but in terms of a business, it's a flawed business plan. You're talking about all the people that go and buy a chainsaw. It's not gonna be people that are chopping down logs for a business. You go to petrol stations, all these hardware stores where they're all bagged mm. up. I think that you're thinking that all of those thousands of people that are buying the chainsaws have got a business. Most people that I know that live in the country actually enjoy cutting down the logs. It's like a pastime. But I don't think you're going to sell enough Okay. It's flawed. Could I, we, could I say, I'm quite impressed with the pluck of you all telling somebody who does cut logs big time and has done for 50 odd years. So you're saying that you're unimpressed by us because we don't cut logs, so we don't know what we're talking about when it comes to cutting logs? Yes. Right. Well, what I'm saying is this. I'm unimpressed with you telling us how to run a profitable, successful business. I'm out. Challenging the dragons appears a kamikaze tactic as Duncan Bannatyne walks away from the deal. Piers Linney is keen to steer the pitch back to business and the all-important issue of sales. I don't think anybody here thinks that there isn't a market for this. There is, clearly. Um, the question is, how, how big is that market? And, and, that, and that's where the... I'd be surprised if you weren't selling one million pounds of that product within three years. Yeah, but you sit here and you chuck out words like, you know, that I would be surprised if we don't sell a million of these. And honestly, you, you are surprised at me. Well, I'm really surprised at you not coming up with actual fact. I reckon we'll sell three to four thousand. Then tell me you're going to sell three to four thousand. We will sell far more than three to four thousand. This startup company, up to now, has consisted of me for two years and Stephen for roughly 60 days. How is time. that helping you, me make a decision on whether or not I invest in you? Because myself, I've sold £9,000 of that product to Hill Farmers and the hardest market you could ever believe, and to people that have never bought a sawhorse, won't buy anything and I've sold it to the hardest. But Richard, you're missing the point. This is all right. fantastic. Every entrepreneur that comes in here has a story behind mm. them. Every entrepreneur sitting here in front of you has worked their socks off to get where they are today. That doesn't give me the reason to invest. I think you'd be impossible to work with. You always have to look at the person at the end of the day and think, how would we work together? And we wouldn't. We would kill each other. Mm. So I'm out. Richard's defensiveness of his product is proving disastrous as an irritated Deborah Meaden bows out. And it looks like Kelly Hoppen has also made up her mind. You've kind of walked in here unenergetic, unexcited about a product that you know I actually like, although it's so out of my sphere of what I do for a living, but I can see that it's, it's a good product. But your attitude is so unengaging. So, you know, obviously you know what I'm going to say. I'm afraid I'm out. That's fine. Thank you. Steve, Richard, it was rubbish. <laughs> Just the whole, not the product, I like the product. I don't get it. I don't live in the country like some of the other dragons. If I got a chainsaw out of my garden, somebody would probably call the police. But the biggest issue, mm. I think, is, is, is yourself. Right. I just can't imagine working with you and trying to have a straight conversation with you because I think you, th I think, you think you know better. And perhaps no. you do when it comes to logging, but it's not just about logging this, it's just about no. building a business, isn't it? So I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. Four dragons are out. Will Peter Jones be an unlikely saviour to what's proving to be a chainsaw massacre in the den? You really should have got onto your numbers. You really should have asked yourselves the questions that you believed would be asked. 
one day's worth of work before you came in here and you would have been able to answer some pretty easy questions. Um, appalling pitch. And that's the reason why I'm not investing. I'm out. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. It takes a brave person to argue with these dragons, and in the end, it didn't pay off for Richard and Steve. They may have fought valiantly to defend their product, but it only resulted in expulsion from the den. They leave with nothing. <sighs> hey, that was rough, wasn't it? It was a morning and a half, that was. Yeah. That is a great demonstration yeah. of how to not get an investment. Once they were getting really aggressive, wouldn't accept what I said, uh, I was just wanting to get out of there because I would not do business with the three older dragons in any shape or form. Just, I'd help them out in a life and death situation, but I wouldn't put a slate on their roof for a 